We remember how Huawei shocked the world back in the summer when it released that phone with that advanced chip by SMIC. How did that get there? Tell us the process. So in late August, while the U.S. Commerce Secretary was visiting China, Huawei debuted a, mu a new smartphone that's powered by a highly advanced computing chip. Chips are measured in nanometers, and 7 nanometers, which is the chip that SMIC produced for Huawei, is much farther ahead than where the U.S. wanted to keep China with an export control regime that the Biden administration began imposing last year. The challenge with that is that it took several months for the U.S. to get key allies on board, in particular Japan. Japan and the Netherlands, where the biggest companies that produce chip-making equipment are headquartered. And so China has for years been stockpiling that equipment, increased that stockpiling effort after the U.S. announced controls. And what we've seen now is that they were able to retool equipment from a Dutch company called ASML that is designed to make less advanced chips to actually make chips that are much closer to the cutting edge than the U.S. thought they would be able to. Um, Mackenzie, what's the U.S. said about the Huawei phone and, and how it gained access to the technology needed to make it? So the U.S. announced about a week after the phone debuted that they were probing it, and they've stayed pretty silent since. Um, now, some Republicans in Congress say that SMIC has clearly violated U.S. export controls and sanctions against Huawei by supplying them with this advanced chip. But the Biden administration, which just updated export controls last week and didn't do a ton that would affect the SMIC chip, has stayed relatively silent on what actions it might take against SMIC or Huawei in particular. Uh, U.S. Commerce Secretary, Secretary Gina Raimondo has said that the phone is concerning and that they're looking into it.